right, boys, I hope you are in for a treat today. We're talking about how you defend bunch tight end. Bunch tight end is one of the most difficult, difficult formations to defend in this game for several different reasons, boys. But we're going to show you a defense today that will really help you with bunch tight end. Now, bunch tight end, in my opinion, just got a massive buff with the release of the Derrick Henry quarterback card because the Derrick Henry quarterback card can not only run with escape artist, is right-handed, but also can throw the ball, has probably the best release in Madden uh, with the Rodgers uh, gun or slinger release. So uh, we're going to show you how to stop bunch tight end or at least to contain it, kind of force them to have to go to some stuff they might not want to go to. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I upload new videos every day that can help you take your Madden game to the next level. And I also wanted to say to you, if you want to learn something, the next defense that I'm going to be probably dropping in my Patreon membership is either going to be the Nickel 245 or the Dime 236. Uh, both of these packages are basically uh, just very, very good, and they're going to help us defend uh, Bunch Tight End. And we're going to use, you can actually use this and apply this to our latest Nickel Normal ebook as well out of the San Fran playbook. So if you want to learn more about these match defenses, or if you just want to get better at the game, be sure to join the Patreon. Because by joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks. So how do we stop bunch tight end? Well, here are the adjustments you want to do. Come out and cover four palms. The reason we want to come out in palms is because palms is significantly more effective uh, against three receiver sets than quarters is, at least at this point in the game. Okay, uh, They are very similar when in terms of defending bunch, but when they turn bunch into trips... Palms plays significantly better. So, uh, and, and the biggest reason why is because very similarly to trips tied in, okay? Very similarly to trips tied in. So, uh, cover for palms. Now, here's how we're going to stop bunch tied in. Here's your adjustments. All you're going to do is you are going to uh, pinch your defense. You're going to crash your defensive line out. QB contain. You're going to then take the defensive tackle on the bunch side and put him in a bluff blitz assignment. You're going to put the defensive tackle on the running back side into a QB spy, and then you're going to man up the linebacker on the left side of the screen onto the number three receiver. So that allows you to then have full access to be able to use their Phillips here. And really your primary responsibility on this defense is you're actually going to be primarily kind of bracketing the deep bomb from bunch you're going to open up here you see something like this you're going to come back but really what you're trying to do is you're trying to kind of help out on that throw right there obviously i'm using two controllers so i couldn't swat it but that's the idea now from a contain perspective uh, i will say this is probably this is why we like to qb spy um, because what's going to happen is if they're a good bunch tight end player they are going to realize that they can pretty much break contain on this defense. Now, uh, so as you can see, we have our spy there, and then we're just bailing back to the deep skinny post. And then as you can see, the defense will contain that. Um, you've got good defense for the crosser, and the main reason why is because typically they're going to block their tight end. Now, if they were to send their tight end vertical, maybe they run a route combination, a five-out route combination that looks kind of like what I just showed you, um, what you're going to notice is your responsibility is going to change. So whenever you see the tight end go on a vertical, now you are responsible for any crossers. And so as you see here, we help on the crosser, and we basically contain them. And best case scenario, they're going to take that little check down uh, to, the, to the route or to the, to the, um, the curl. Now, uh, the, the other thing I want to show you is one of the best bomb concepts in Madden 22. Pretty sure that Civil invented this in particular bomb. And what you're going to notice is we're going to set up our coverage uh, just like we've been doing. Uh, if you want to drag this guy back in, you certainly can do that. That will help a little bit with pressure concepts, and it will help him have better leverage against man coverage. But as you'll see, we're going to do the exact same adjustments. Now, when we open to the side, if that tight end on the right side doesn't go vertical, then we know we're going to carry and get up here and take away that route ourselves. Now, um, you do have a good corner that will be in basically man coverage on that. That is going to be fine. Um, he'll typically be fine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I were to just keep me spy my user here, just to try to kind of give you a glimpse of what you know it would look like if you, for whatever reason, you know got covered underneath or whatever, this bomb will 
be a little bit more effective, but you're still going to have a decent shot. And what you're going to see here is it's really more of a speed matchup. If you got a fast corner, he'll get back on that. But, I mean, it's a bang-bang play. If you've got a good corner there, you know, you're going to be able to hang with it. If you've got a good user, even better. Okay, if you've got a good user, even better. That'll just help kind of poach that. And that's really what your job is, right? You're going to have any flooding concepts to the to the bunch. You're going to have fairly locked down. So really what you're looking for is a deep skinny post or a, or a crosser uh, from right to left. Now I want to show you the number one reason why I really like this. So once you start to kind of stop some of their basic concepts, you're going to see that they're going to go to something like this concept right here at a bunch tight end. I think one of the more underrated setups. As you can see here, we're going to try to hit this tight end post. What you're going to notice is I'm going to open because the tight end goes vertical. I'm looking for the shallow crossers. But as you can see right here, we're going to play really solid defense against that tight end post because we've got that palms. We've got that man lock on the back side. Now, that also is going to matter in a situation like this where maybe they go to inside switch. So if they go to inside switch, which is a very good uh, match coverage beater most of the time out of this, but because of our adjustments, it's not going to burn us. Now what you're going to see is this little uh, palm coverage will take that quarter right away, and then you're just lurking right in here because you saw that tight end go vertical. And as you can see, you can see how this defense is taking away the majority of the concepts that bunch tight end players like to use. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about this defense and you want to learn more about how to shut down every offense in the game with match coverage, you can check out my match defensive guide in our um in our Patreon membership. There's a link down in the description below. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out that Patreon. I really think it will help you take your Madden game to the next level. And again, if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. So head on down to the description and check out that Patreon membership.